Hi guys, welcome back to another Nourish Beauty Box unboxing video. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is a subscription service and it's cruelty free and vegan. And obviously I'll leave the details in the, in the description bar if you are interested. But I'm just going to dive straight on into it. I wanted to mention that the card has been kind of redesigned. Obviously the picture on the front changes every month, but the back of it, it looks a lot more sleek now. I don't know if you remember what it used to look like. It was kind of, it was a little bit Comic Sans, if you know what I mean. Whereas this is a bit more... Times New Roman Georgia kind of vibes, you know, talking in Microsoft Word kind of talk. Whoever designed this has done a good job because it looks really sleek, really cool, quite professional. Um, and obviously, this just tells you what products are in the box, the prices, and so on and so forth. As with every month, all four products are full size, so I'm just going to dive straight on into it and show you the first product, which I probably used the most out of these four. And this is the Seraphine Botanicals Sea and Sun Illuminating Vegan Bronzer, and the shade is Amber Sun. So I'll show you what this looks like. I don't know why I put it back in the box, just for just for full effect but I did open up this box this is the August box obviously I didn't mention that but this is the August box and I opened it up just before I went away for a week if you don't know I did go away for a week and I took this with me and I really enjoyed using it you get two shades as you can see one's slightly darker than the other one one is a bit gold, more golden and the other one is a bit more of a true bronze but I will give you a cheeky little swatch I if I did that at a weird angle <laughs> And the formula of these two is amazing. You can see that they're really pigmented, but really, really smooth as well. And like I said in that travel makeup video that I did, I prefer these on the eyelids. Um, I really, really like them as eyeshadow colours, just blended into the crease, a very, that very, very easy laid back look. They do work as a bronzer as well, obviously, but yeah, as eyeshadow, these two are beautiful. And actually the darker shade in this duo is quite a good dupe for an individual shadow that I was trying to find a replacement for because the one I like is not cruelty free or not verified cruelty free. It's the H&M own brand makeup range and the shade is shiitake, like a shiitake mushroom and it looks just like this shade. So I think I found myself a little dupe here. Um, probably not a dupe that many people care about because obviously H&M own brand is not like a it's not a massive makeup brow that people are trying to find dupes for. But for me personally, you know, it's a personal triumph, you know, it's a good day, it's a good day. The nail varnish we got this month is called Breathe and Let Go and it is, it, it's a beautiful shade. One of the best shades I think we've got from them. Look at that, look at that. I've actually got one of their other shades on today, like this bright pink. But this blue is, it's like a, I mean you can see what colour it is, I don't really need to explain it to you, but it's just a perfect true blue. When you think of the blue that's like the primary colour blue, that's what this is. And I love it a lot. Formula, same as always, but I really love this colour. They do need a top coat though, I've said this before. This, th because they're water-based polishes, they don't chip, but they kind of, if... <sighs> If you pick if you pick at them, this is quite a niche criticism, but if you pick at them, the whole of the nail varnish will like rip off, come off. I don't know if that's, that makes any sense. But basically, if you put them on and you don't seal them with something, like seal them with a top coat, they can come off quite easily. So I'm looking for a really good natural top coat. I don't know how natural nail varnish truly is, but yeah, uh, I'm thinking of the Pacifica one. If anyone's tried it, let me know if it's any good. The third product, oh, I haven't been saying the prices. God. Rookie error. How many times do I forget to see the prices? I'll tell you, lots of times, all the time. The nail varnish is $12.50 retail price and the bronzer is $16. So that's actually quite a good price. I would definitely buy this individually when I run out of it. I will definitely. And if they do different shades as well, because I'm guessing if it's called Amber Sun, they probably do other shades. I don't know, possibly. And the next product I've got here is by Thistle. And Thistle is a brand we don't usually get in the box. They alternate one brand every month. So one product will be from a different brand every month. So this is the alternate brand and it's their Absorb Face. That's just what it's called. It's not called face powder, it's called Absorb Face. <laughs> It says, natural earth minerals and clay, translucent finishing powder, cruelty free, handcrafted. Cool. This retails for $21 and you get a lot of product. I don't know how much this is because it doesn't say the amount of grams on the pot, but that's that's a decent amount. So much so that I actually thought, I'm so, I, this was a complete rookie error, like no fault of the subscription box or the brand, completely my fault. I thought this was one of those uh, face masks that you, like a clay face mask that you mix with water and then put it on your face. And I actually used this as a face mask, I mean, it didn't do my skin a lot of good, I won't lie to you. I'll insert some footage, but I don't know. I was like, this is taking like forever to set. And then on my forehead, I was getting loads of red bumps. Once I once I took it off, it was quite itchy. And like I had quite a few red bumps on my forehead. But that's obviously because you're not supposed to use as much as I did. 
on your skin at once. It obviously like suffocated my skin or something. I don't know. Don't use this as a face mask. If you if you think it's a face mask, it is not. It's a face powder. But yeah, I can't really report on how well it does as a face powder. I suppose it's because it just says absorb face and I saw that it was clay and I just connected the dots, but I didn't connect them correctly. But you know what, we live, we learn. And the last product in the box is this, and this is by Peony Cosmetics. It's their Blemish Zapper. I really like the box, it's actually, I, I love this colour scheme of the pink. And this is basically supposed to dry spots out, so mainly whiteheads it will be to dry them out. And I'm pretty sure it's got... Yeah, tea tree oil and witch hazel. It definitely smells like those two ingredients. And you'll find those quite a lot in um, zit treatments or blemish treatments. I really like that smell. I feel like a lot of people don't like tea tree, but I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. It smells very clean and... Um, I suppose it does have that like antibacterial scent to it because it is naturally antibacterial. Uh, but yeah, the idea with this is you're supposed to use a Q-tip, pop it in, pop it on the pimple or spot or whatever you call it, and it will dry it out and then it will go away. And for me personally, I don't really get pimples anymore or whiteheads. I did get two here when I was away. I was eating Belgian waffles by the truckload because I found some in Lidl that were vegan. They had, I mean, they, they were bad for you. I, in my head, sometimes I think... Just because it's vegan, it's healthy, that is absolutely not the truth at all. These things were full of rubbish and e-numbers, but they tasted so good. Um, so yeah, I was eating a lot of those, and then sometimes when I eat fried food or, you know, food that's high in refined sugar, I get spots around here. So I did actually get two here, but I didn't get a chance to try this out. If you do like these drying lotions, but you want a more natural option, this looks like a really nice one to go for. I heard, I remember Nicole Scherzinger, she said... Um, I was reading a magazine or something and she said that she just uses toothpaste on spots, it's like a beauty hack. I wouldn't really recommend putting toothpaste on your face but I suppose it's the same. It's the same kind of thing isn't it? And that my friends is everything in the box. So the retail price of all those things is £75, no $75.50. Which isn't as much as you usually get in these boxes, you usually get better value for money. However I really really like what was in the box so I'm not complaining by any means. As a little bonus I thought I would unbox this and this is the Velvet Report La Vie on rose box so this is not a subscription service this is just a one-off box it's not for um, UK residents really it's mainly for US and Canada but I thought I would share it with you because the products in here are really nice and they're all vegan and kind of rose themed what I really like about Velvet Report the it's run by a girl called Lindsay and she basically shows the shows you that you can have luxury products you can have high-end products and they can be vegan like you don't need animal derivatives to be sophisticated and have like you know high-end makeup luxury makeup there's kind of like a stigma around it that it, it can't be vegan it can't be cruelty free and she just shows that it's just not the case it's not the case at all the attention to detail with this box is amazing products come in this book box and as I say it's reusable and I'll definitely be reusing it it opens up like this and on top you get a Polaroid and this is of the Eiffel Tower which is amazing I I'm so in love with Paris the idea of you know French style and Parisian living I'm, I'm a big big fan big fan so I love that I'm definitely going to keep that pop it on my wall or something and then underneath that it's um she's ugh, the attention to detail again is so cute it's Anna Karina reading a magazine and then she's kind of edited it and it says Velvet Report and it's just I just love this so much and then it's got um on the magazine she's reading vegan ethical luxury which I have a lot of time for I just love it I think it's such a cool concept and then it's just got the three products that you get the information about them and yeah a little message at the top which is really really sweet and then this is what the box looks like so it's got pink tissue paper and the first product you get in here is a rose facial mist and this is by a brand I've never tried before it's I think it's called Carney or Canny um, and it's 100% natural and organic vegan obviously and this is lovely it's got a really nice spray to it I'll just put some on now really really fine as a mist it smells really good it doesn't smell like straight rose water and I love this bottle it's a really pretty frosted glass this will look so nice on display in your bathroom or in your bedroom and I feel like this will come in really handy for summer you know as a nice cooling mist you can use it as part of your skincare routine and um, to set your makeup loads of different uses for this so yeah I'm really really happy with this product the next product in the box is this and this is by a brand called herbivore which i think i've seen on instagram before and this is their coco rose lip balm and this is a coconut oil based lip balm which i was a little bit hesitant to try because i have used coconut like straight coconut oil as lip balm before and for me personally it doesn't really work it doesn't feel 
nourishing enough but this I like more than I was intending to it comes in a little glass jar similar to the RMS beauty products it doesn't actually show up on the lips as pink but you can just see it in the pot there it's a really nice rosy pink shade and I actually really like this because it's very lightweight like it's nourishing enough but it's really lightweight on the lips so very nice for summer you can hardly feel it on your lips it still gives you that balmy feel and yeah I like this a lot as well and the last product in the box is this and this is the formulary 55 rose hip and clay facial mask and this actually is one of those powder masks that you mix with water and then put on your face so you know my head was somewhere it just wasn't in the right place it's got really good ingredients in very simple ingredients but very nourishing as well it's got French pink and white clay rose hip powder comfrey root and geranium essential oil I've never heard of the brand before but I mean the packaging is drawing me in like a moth to a flame and that is everything in the box so if you're interested obviously I'll leave all of Lindsay's details down below I'm pretty sure she's having 15% off on this box so check it out if that tickles your pickle but yeah that's everything for this video I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in my next one bye